I'm not a Solaris was here. <laughs> and your mother smelled like crap. Solaris. So I'm yeah. gonna cast fly and pee on it. <laughs> Tom's character is about to die again. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep peeing and then with the rest of my turn I'm gonna fireball him. Oh yeah. Thomas. You know, every time you play, you end up saying something about piss. You get piss on you every time, and you fall in a well. Do you know how bad you suck? Although I have to admit, watching <coughs> these hollows of my brother shit themselves, I like, find quite tough. <coughs> Bullshit. Amusing. But no, you need to make another wall save. You want to join in our bet on how many rounds Thomas goes? I say seven, she says four. That was... Uh, that was 28 lightning damage. The bolt of lightning slams you from the side, and this old wizard with crazy hair is going, He's killing what's left of us! Get him! My fireball is the exact same shade and coloration oh, as, shit. Blue, as Jeff Dunham's blue pen. Yes, I don't use bad mono as a spell component. I use my own. Give me a minute. I'm fucking dead! Well, you attack the wizard in a town full of wizards who are all losing their powers and going psycho. What the fuck do you think's gonna happen? Okay. I have to agree oh, completely. Man. I'm gonna eat him. Okay. He didn't even hey, wait, wait, Solaris, are you sure? There's a well at the base of this tower. That, that was in four rounds. We no, were both rolled. You. You're getting 500 experience points in Chlamydia. <laughs> Dumbass. Fuck, fuck, fuck. To Vimbroar. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Hey, there's a... Uh... We're not cool to in candy. Yeah. Create <laughs> lollipop balls. Lollipop balls, lollipop balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solaris, we're trying to make listen checks. Stop adding to the song. Clap! <laughs> hey, don't stay with my creativity, hey. FCC! Whoa! <laughs> so, he just attacked him! You have pretty eyes! Well, considering the fact I'm under Devil's Own side... He has glowing red bed. eyes. That's what makes him so damn pretty! <laughs> what you doing, lady? I swing both ways! Seriously, I own a pug who wants to have sex with crazy lazy I do! No, for real, I'm serious! Pug! Twitch! Twitch! <laughs> insult the masters like that. Hey, Master Roscoe will know what to do with you. I don't care. God should be above my will. Follow words. me. God <laughs> should be no, should be gods and know better than to listen to me. God no should place. know better than to listen to me. An orc with like an intelligence of one would know better than to listen to you. If Bozo wants to do Bozo wants to hit something. Okay Bozo. Those are all Kamori ninjas. Oh, you can still call me Musahara. I'm just gonna call myself Bozo in the third person because it's hot. It's what I call myself when That's I what think. what Bozo calls himself when he thinks. That's what Bozo call calls himself when he thinks. But he's gonna be telling him in the third person to do it right. Bozo's gonna try to punch that because Bozo doesn't like it. Ding ding, nigga! Good thing we don't have a spell jammer. Space turns Asian people gay. Just look at Mr. Sulu. Oh god, I made please like speech. <laughs> Come from the land of the rice and snow. He hates you, remember? I don't like you, remember? I'm a monk, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> oh, oh, yes, we need it! Flurry, flurry of knuckles! Awesome! Dude, monks should so do that! I am Sunariel Kaluanir, High Elven Cleric of Elishar! Positive energy! Fuck yes! Who the hell's Elishar? The deity of positive energy! Oh, we have one of those? Oh, uh, they do in the other world where I come from. Another name? I have bad accents. I cannot pronounce Reyes. Reyes comes out like Elishar's. <laughs> my name is Okra. I don't care if I'm good or light. Inflict modern wounds. Ow! That hit me in the wiener. No, you made me angry, and I grow Zon and Spike. Nah! Elishar forever! Violent Zon and Spike. Ah. I am... A cleric, and that means that I am overpowered and have the ability. What was I just saying? <laughs> oh, I, uh, being a cleric also gives you premature Alzheimer's and AIDS. So, kids, stop praying right now. This is paid for by the Church of Atheists. Fuck yeah. Well, now we got Japanese style DD. &D. We're on the floor. Take your shoes off. You're not allowed to wear shoes in Japan. Yes, you are. You're allowed to wear Converse because whole country is emo. 
In the lands of the lost horizons, where the trees rise dark and cold, colds with the K's, the house won't shine and the story's told. Oh, I love you. Oh. The world was milks and honeys. And the magic was strong and true. Then the strange ones came and the people knew. Oh, yes. That the shades was on and bondage was invented. Yay, Britta! I would like to tell you there's a diplomatic message from Sweden's land that this is not drugs and boosts, it's all natural. That word you look for? Natural. Cactus! Once comes from my class. What's. They have rainbows in their eyes. I feel pretty. He can't see him! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sam, you've been kissed by a crazy elf. Well, that's the that end of my life. <laughs> you killed Sam! Yes! Now Necrophile take over. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you see our one half, and two of our characters no, yeah, are down. Vulgar, but... Yeah, you survived all the CR4s. <laughs> but the CR halves come out, and you fucking die. Hey, we've had it happen what before. Mm. Yeah. What have you got to say about yourself, Alex? I got fucking pwned. Damn! Say something. Huh? Fuck you. Hey! 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 Right, Matthew? Yeah. Because they're forcing hey, information. Hey. Proof right here. See, people? This right is why here. Matthew's knee wins. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you want to kiss it and make it better? Get away from me! Imagine if all of us were on acid right now. Okay, well. We would be so screwed. Anyway. Oh, why is your hair yellow and zeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Welcome to the Church of Mab. I am Balthazar. And, uh... <laughs> this is gonna be the worst session ever. You appear to have wandered into my church. <laughs> what the hell do you faster join? I come for your gummy bear trees. <laughs> well, yeah, sign of the cross, whatever. I don't know what a cross is. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't care. And then the and he opens the book and it's all gleamy and stuff and this rainbow shimmers of light and he says bunga kunga shunga anachronistic bullshit <laughs> and a gummy bear tree in a pot decorated with peace signs and signs and bunny rabbits and butterflies appears out of here's in the center of the church and it's got glowing gummy bears on it and they're singing and dancing and yelling eat me eat me i taste like vagina <laughs> I got one question, Sam. One question. What? Can I fuck it? <laughs> Ask him. Can I fuck it? Why? Because it's squishy. I don't care. This is the worst day. This is the worst day in my career as a mad priest. Do what you want to it. It doesn't really exist. I made it out of your mind. I vance. Enjizons Hamburg's Gaysa You guys are you guys are kind of kind of, kind of stupid, aren't you? I want Valhalla Hamburgesa. Okay, um this is an anachronistic bullshit. There's a giant hamburger in front of him. And it has the blood of ancient heroes dripping off of it in place of ketchup. And golden hair woven into cheese. <laughs> and the meat appears to be steaming baby flesh. <laughs> and the bread is made of acorns. <laughs> and, he, uh, and he jumps on it and starts eating it. And it says, my name is Dr. Roxon. <laughs> Rock and roll him. I, I do crystal math. Hey man, you know powder? That's my boy. I know powder. I aspirate them every night in hell. Oh shit, powder dead? Yes, I think he did. Wait, is he a Bevereth? <laughs> no, powder ain't no Bevereth. He should be a Bevereth. He <laughs> smells like a Bevereth. <laughs> Your beard is tangled around your nutsack. Well right? Yes. And down there, I have an afro. Okay. So you see, you can't get tangled, because I have not an afro really with dreadlocks coming out of my pubes. So it's not going to help me, I'll just have normal pubic hair. I'm DMing like Dexter, so we have some kind of continuity. Can I make a swim kick to get out? No, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, you know what? Shut up, Thomas, I hate you. I hate you. Shut up, Sam, I hate you. I hate all of you. I'm Italian. You all owe me money. I worship Stephen Colbert. I'm me. I don't owe you money. You owe me money. No, I don't. I don't care. Get out of my house. I'll shoot you with a blue gun. This ain't your house. I'll beat you with Chief. I'm reasonably sure I do owe him money. But you ripped some out. You ripped one of the dreadlocks out. Now it's attached to the end of your beard. I have an inferiority complex. But then I see that they are all stupid and have no... have berets. With no I monocle. Want a beret. Berets are nice. Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> That's a name. What the fuck? Well, the first well we encounter, well, no, it won't be that far off. So maybe the gods don't like him. Maybe the gods just like his babies. The ones that come out be us. But they think he doesn't like them, which is just as bad. And the babies don't always come out of his ass. Sometimes they come out of his ears. Maybe they are. You have to think about these things, or you're not a good mistress. That was wrong. I'm sorry, Elminster. I can't summon stick. Thomas, go get the stick. Just how it works. <laughs> hey, hey, this is not part of the spell. This is not part of the you spell. You failed the spellcraft no. check. No. Miscast. Miscast. <laughs> Asmodeus. Asmodeus. Ah. Kick, 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 kick,
chicken! Kick the chicken! That was just throw with some ice cubes! I'm telling you, you, you failed spell crap. You failed spell crap, something bad's gotta happen. Can we just throw with some ice cubes? You failed spell crap! Piece of PVC. Ow! <laughs> you got it horribly. <laughs> you got it horribly. Ow! <laughs> this is the point where you have a little bass to two little doors like, it looks like we have, it looks like we have. Yes, the other one's like, no, Pangan didn't look like that. And the other one's like, yes, he would, he's a fucking orc. Good point, let's go. Okay, <laughs> you get 600 gold. Smishny? His name? Snimsh? You are sold to a slaver who lives in the Moonshay Isles. You are taken out by boat from Baldur's Gate. You are taken, and your new job is to retrieve things from the bottoms of wells. And at the bottom, you find the remains of some tieflings and just a bunch of random rogues that have ended up falling down wells, running from giant mummified sand giants. That is your new job. Happy with your life? Hope so. Next one throws a chair, gets my fist in his dying leash. This belch is a class establishment. Well, like Barbara Streisand has bitten your cock off. Hey, 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 which which one of us is dead? You. So shut the hell up! Dead people win. I just got some into slavery. So I'm not dead. So, ha! Ah, shut up. You're just gonna keep being sold into slavery and end up like Kirk. <laughs> well, without the super cool dread necromancer powers. Yeah. And not evil. You'll just gain one ranger level that you hardly ever use. Are you looking at me? Kamehameha yes. Way. Kamehameha Way. Kamehameha Way. Room has recently served as a battleground. Dang it, why'd that have to be recorded? It's gonna end up on YouTube and... Again. <laughs> I'm on YouTube so. talking in a horrible accent, cursing foully as a wizard. Yeah. I think you can take this. Uh, so. I know I'm nuts. After all, look at what I'm winning with. Well, you see, that's up to Who the, the torch exactly? Well, you see, if you were nuts, they might not. I guess I did. What means killing them or taking their stuff is the only, only a good idea. Out. This is going to be on the nomination for next year, you know, for most ponage. Lily versus Matthew. And they tried to rape me on a park bench. A poodle! When my papa was a young lad, of early teenage years, I'm guessing. He lived with his older sister because his mom had died and his dad, like mine, was a douchebag. It seems to skip a generation. And all of his older sister's children were Ra's elves. Like, and one of them was Lewis, who later grows up to become a preacher. Lewis is two years old at this time. And this is a perfect way to start out a redneck life. Walks out onto the front porch in a lake house, but as Nick, his little white redneck winger, and they have ducks at this lake house. And they used to feed ducks by taking little carrots and pulling it like this and feeding them. Well, apparently one of the ducks, called Waddles, thought that this was a carrot. And walks up and goes, <laughs> and hangs on. Lewis, of course, goes, <laughs> and grabs a small hand shovel and starts beating the duck to death. He actually manages to beat the duck to death with a hand shovel. I mean, blood going everywhere. Beats the duck to death. The duck falls off, and he kicks it under the porch. I have a story for you that you will enjoy. And then Aunt Louise, you know, comes, and uh, he goes in the house later, and, she, and about, you know, a few hours later near dinner time, he comes in and is like, what happened to Waddle? And Louis says, well, he must have just been died. Yeah. The, now the world will see the wonders of my hairy arse. I'm sure there's a you fetish know, for it. Little doggy licking doors. And you also gain 700 points of Solaris. How does this make you feel? That's right. No more. Did did you you say, out my face. You Erotic. Oh yeah, the story of Adam's gay sexual experience. Yes, well, we were uh, spending the Christmas over at Adam's grandmother's. And uh, we were sleeping in the guest bedroom. Alex and Adam were sleeping in the same, I believe it was a double bed, wasn't it, Alex? They called 
dogs you've made. Uh, and I slept on, on the floor on like a pile of yeah. clothes, so it, yeah, I was <laughs> very comfortable with myself. Yeah. Though one morning, I wake up to find Adam uh, in an odd position. And uh, I have to stand there and witness it a moment because I, I can't believe it. Uh, Adam is uh, spooning Alex with his hand in between his legs, groping at his, um, and, uh, then, uh, you know, I whispered to Alex, I said, Alex, you know, he moves a little and everything, I said, Alex, and he, he, he goes, what? I said, uh, you don't see anything strange, man? He's like, Alex jumps up, leaps up, well, I wouldn't call it a leap, more like a hover, <laughs> as he goes from lying to standing on the bed, kicking and screaming and, and punching at Adam as Adam tries to fend him off with a pillow, and then Adam falls off in the floor as he's being beaten to death by a pillow for being, you know, mm -hmm. for being a uh, <laughs> complete fag. No, the way to say that, he, he was his gay sexual experience. I think, I hope, he thought that Alex was a um, woman and not a, just a slender man. Because then he really has no defense. I still don't give him one because then the next night we tried it again with the pillow in between them. And Adam just tried to come on too strong and was kicked off again. And uh, he slept on the couch the rest of the time like Adam with your waddles. Yeah. <laughs> if only I'd had a shovel. <laughs> I don't know. You just died, officer. <laughs> <laughs> like no, icicles hanging from his cod feet. Yeah, so pretty much, I'm, you're, Adam is still alive after no, we're Yeah, because remember, Dinvadio oh, came to Bandra and killed everyone and trapped Adamus in the staff. Oh, yeah. We're explaining two years worth of role plays in five minutes, Adam. <laughs> History lesson, motherfucker. <laughs> Can you listen? Ever did. Then again, that's probably just because me and Cody were good. Monty sucks. <laughs> Last time that I played with Monty, he was like, you get teleported way, way across the world, and, it, and Hellboy attacks you. It was fucking a big red demon dude, like 50 feet tall. And I'm like, I'm not going to be able to kill that. Yes, you can! You're level 17! So I was like, bam, and it's dead. Then he's like, I gave you a bunch of healing potions so you can't die. I'm like, <laughs> he was a fly by casting. I don't know who did it. I just saw Wiggle Fingers and he was gone. We ground forces got around the... Dude, you feel like nice short keys. What's he said? It stays left, motherfucker. BAM! Yeah. There's a rumble and everything and he looks down and says, Morden? <laughs> Morden Kynan's lubricate or no, 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 no. Yeah. Luke Rubation. Yeah, Morden Kynan's lube. <laughs> But when you really need to get into a tight well, well, space. See, you see, that is <laughs> the seed for the spell Digby's Emotionally Scarring Prostate Exam. You exactly. Have to have the load first. Exactly. Yeah. But yes, yeah, you know, that's for when you really need to get into and a then tight Liam and, and then Liam and takes you back to his magical hut for a drink. <laughs> On tents or floating dick. We're nerds, man. What the yeah. This is the reason why I'm glad I don't get stoned anymore. Could you imagine this bunch on high? Could you imagine this bunch high? I wouldn't want Thomas to be high. That would be the worst. Imagine, imagine him high. That would be funny. I've never been high. I've never been high. You paladin? I've never smoked weed. You paladin? Fuck you! I have neither. Happy birthday to you. Happy I am learning now. To you. Happy birthday, dear Johnny. Happy birthday to you. Bring me your pain! Okay, this goes back to a World of Warcraft story. This is what we want to do with Alex. Okay, you know the custom emotes? Mm -hmm. Dexter is waiting for the blimps to take him to Ice Crown. And there is a chick paladin 
like every fucking blood elf sitting next to him. He decides he's going to get bored. Cuts me up. Does shameful things to smash potatoes and salad. The chick puts in a question mark. Big, bold face print. Quit fucking staring at me. <laughs> she logs out. <laughs> Almost as good as the time as when we were playing Gears of War a long time ago. This was probably back in 10th grade, back when it first came out. We're sitting there, we've been waiting for a while for the teams to fill up so we could play around. We finally fill up. Dex says, would you fuck me? <laughs> I fuck me. <laughs> Everyone leaves. I was there. I left. And we're like, God damn it, Dex, you're trying to get a game going. I like logged out. I was like, no. No, not, not today. <laughs> Remember your shotgun run? Yeah, shotgun chainsaw run. I was the only, my whole team had been slaughtered. And I was versus Daniel, Dexter, and Joseph, RJ. and RJ. The four best, the first. four best players in the house. <laughs> so automatically I think, well, I'm fucked. I might as well just go for broke and, you know, risk everything to kill, to kill at least one of them. And I end up killing every single one of them. With a chainsaw and a shotgun. Okay. It was beautiful. Well, remember when RJ's chainsaw went through the, the rock? Fuck <laughs> 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 Okay, oh, yeah. yeah. I remember I, that. As you know, in some games there are glitches. And I was taking cover. And, R, and R, RJ had act, uh, uh, didn't even mean to hit the chainsaw, but, but he did. And, and, and once you start the chainsaw on somebody, it's just going to go all the way through you. But somehow the chainsaw blade sticks out on the other side of the rock and catches me. The rock's fine, but I'm in two pieces. <laughs> I remember those one number playing in a... This is one weapon called the Hammer of Dawn. It's pretty much a satellite beam. Well, me and RJ decided we're on a rooftop level. And we're just not caring. We're to clarify, we're it's the Monty care. Python foot of doom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so we're having this little duel with the Hammer of Dawn. And the whole time we're portraying roles. He is God, I am Satan. <laughs> the whole time I get killed, I go, Yeah, Satan's got a bigger dick. And about that time, he goes down and just demolishes my entire team. And he goes, Yeah, but God gets more hoes. You want to know something interesting? I love you. Do you, do you want to run? <laughs> Okay, he's running, but he's looking back at the ashram, so he still doesn't see you. So, uh... <laughs> I want to trip his ass. <laughs> I want to trip his ass. I'm in front of you. Okay. That's my halfling. And you even kind of look like a fan nigger. Now describe yourself. Okay. Get, um, Dick Biter. <laughs> yeah, you look at me, and somehow you know that my nickname is Dick Biter, and that's all you know, and that's all you need to know. Yeah. So, uh, the dwarf barbarian was cage fighting against the Grimlock that had been trapped up in the basement for an unannounced amount of time. Uh, the Grimlock started to hump the Dwarf Barbarian's face in a grapple check, and uh, the Dwarf Barbarian bit off the Grimlock's no, 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 penis. No, 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 what did he do first? It raged. The Barbarian raged. Yeah, the Barbarian raged. Yes, he did. And in, in, in his... Rage began getting his face humped, and then uh, in his rage, bit off the uh, hard-on penis of the uh, Grimlock, and the Grimlock bled out and almost died, and will never have children, which is probably a good thing. This is the dick biter. And Bender. Yeah, that's that's my character's name, Milkar. Milk guard dick biter. <laughs> no, that's your surname from now on. If you're exiled, that is now your surname, dick biter. <laughs> you will forge a new clan, which will last one generation. How does that make you feel? 21. Ah. I'm trying to hide in the open. So he lays down. Trying to defecate himself sand. in the sand to fucking hide. You're trying to like dig a hole. Oh, it, you're yeah. trying to dig a hole with your entire body right now. You're making sand angels. <laughs> then you do this. And then you do this. For the record, that's like the fifth time I've done that. 
<laughs> and I still get a boner every time. I do not think the whole world needs to know this. <laughs> no, but the group does. <laughs> uh, Why'd you kick your significant any more badass than mine will ever be? Because he's the because, DM and that's um, how Matthew rolls. Say so that uh, uh, his dad wasn't a werewolf. His dad would have been a werewolf, his mom and human, he would have been born a werewolf, but sisters are actually their own race. I must uh, also add that this is his first character since he went and saw New Moon. Oh, wow. And what does Matthew have to say to that? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to hide face down in a wide open area of sand. <laughs> at least it's not a well. Yeah. Okay, no, wait, whoa, 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 wait. Wait, 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 hold up. You just tried to stick your head in the sand and pretend it wasn't there, didn't you? I'm calling you ostrich from now on. <laughs> Now it is... Yeah, we need to turn the camera. Heal the door. Heal the door. Well, I'm gonna die. I mean, I don't think we can do blood transfusions here, so, you know. Well, you should have taken ranks in that, maybe. Ranks and blood transfusions? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. You have to look at his ghetto booty, Matthew. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> How does that make you feel? Poor Thomas, all we ever have of you on camera is you doing this, and fuck, and bring me your pain. Sounds like a Cody fucking Dizzle song. He gonna strip. Someone else hold it. <laughs> You're too close to Zach, okay? This was my 12th birthday present. Fat and Jim Con. And even it rolls well. <laughs> of malevolent amber. New from Crayola. You don't have to film me. But I want to film you. You're pretty. You're, 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 you're man pretty. feature about him is that his eyes are actually amber. What, 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 what color are they, Zach? What kind of amber? 
An amber that glows with a malevolent light. What would you say what it's, would a, you that? it's a... What would you call that? People would call that malevolent amber. Oh, okay. Cool. And then we have Dick Bite. No, my name is Marathgar Silver Slasher, but no one will call me Marathgar. <laughs> because it's a retarded name to pronounce. Well... And this is coming from the guy that calls himself Yarkaz. You no, know, I think it's better than Yarkaz. Fuck him. I hope he gets his dick chopped off. Just like in real life. So your name is... You, have, you must describe yourself. Um, and no, you do not have foreskin hanging from your canine. I wasn't going to suggest such, but maybe some matted cum in my beard, perhaps. Mine. It would be like fusion. Huh? I'm Rochi Pierto. From Rasa. I'm Triskela Lasamborga. Most people just call me Trick. Or Cheap Trick. Or in one case, Cock Teeth, but I said it. <laughs> Dick Biter McBall Sucker. I'm my pupil, but now you are eating a little cock <laughs> I'll tell you where the trivia plate is. <laughs> I don't want shit fucked up. Fucked up. Now you fucked up. You are fucked up now, boy. Zach, go toward that way so you can be in the picture. This is a happening, y'all, Calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> what? Calm down. Do what? Do what? What? Hey. Hey. What? Hey. 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 Really yeah, it does. I'm sure. You're like a pretty fairy. Talk your own. <laughs> Which is funny. Pretty. Yeah, I think that might give it away a little if you do. To keep your evil laughing alive. I need to find a dead spider right now. Oh. I was only attracted to male dwarves, but I figured as long as it was going to get awkward anyway, I'd just make her attracted to both genders of dwarves. She is, however, still only attracted to female gnomes. I made her sexuality as complicated as I could to avoid using it. You know, but usually, it turns out, it did. Usually one of my first thoughts about my character is not their sexuality. I think it's sex every four seconds. What are you thinking of Me right too, this moment? Sex again. Monty, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Right now? I'm thinking of Alex's penis right now. Me too. Let's all think of Alex's penis together to make it... Oh. <laughs> that was a bonding moment. Well, you'd have to ask the question again. So, Sam, did elf chicks have their periods like once every decade or something? No, it's still monthly. But we bleed a lot less, and it's kind of a black color. Actually, it smells really, really good. Sometimes animals come to eat it. <laughs> so do mind players have periods? I've never met a mind player, but I've heard that they do. Except that it's kind of a pink color, mixed with some gray. And it smells really, really bad, and animals have been known to die if they were too close. <laughs> so Sam, tell us about all of the races, period. <laughs> Start with gnomes! Gnomes. Gnomes are half periods. What about the Lawrence's period? <laughs> well, the occasional gnome man does bleed spontaneously from the genitals. <laughs> we're pretty sure that comes from the tree stump fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah, you take, uh, what about goblins? Goblins period? Goblin women don't have a period every three days, seven three days out of every month. And two the other 27 days are a period. Keep around, so don't do it yet. That is why they are angry and still voice at all times. Orc women are similar, except that, they're, that says that they do not have the three days of respite. And it's why their babies are covered in more blood than usual. Because okay. the bleeding simply never stops, and their eggs are constantly recycled. Dick fire. <laughs> what up? What? Don't film my butt. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I would have only had one character die this way. <laughs> get away. Get away. Yeah, I'm pathetic. <laughs> I hate my life. I hate all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn. Mother fucking butt fucking Rochi Pierre tell up the ass of a fucking horny terrace. Oh fucking rub grim struggle on his fucking ball chicken sack motherfucker. I will fucking kill you with giant lightning bolt fucking cow turds. Oh my
God. God, okay, that feels better than it did before, but still, it's not very fucking comfortable. No, you motherfucker! <laughs> Big foot cock, ball sack of shit! God <laughs> fucking golden goblin scrum! Look at his butt hair, it's suddenly black, Dag. Look at it. <laughs> Fuck this shit, like cobalt Jesus shanks are a no, target hey, hey, I'll go get warm water now. Well, I will. I hate my life.
wiping up the blood. Pointer, please. As you see here, there is hair all about it. We believe it is related to the Sasquatch. If you get a nice zoom in with this, you can see a nice little white clip right here, which means he is indeed a shemo. Um, the hair protrudes up the back and down the leg into the lower quarter. And if you'll see here in the coronal ridge, there is a lot of hair. Many people have died in there. Now I would just find a place to As you see here, this is the left flank where the most meat is located. This one has had an implant. Here. Here is where he likes to put things. And then here is a place called... Here is a place called No Man's Land. That concludes our ceremony for today. I'm going to piss all over the towel. Nothing. <laughs> I'm going to pee on this towel. You guys do <laughs> Even when I was a giant undead bug, that would have disgusted me. You could always turn yourself into a gnome. <laughs> it worked so well for me. Please don't speak of this again. Well, you see, some onyx fell into the teacup. And Tillomir walked in, and at this point I'm assuming, I'm assuming that there was some sort of spell affecting him as he randomly fired an eldritch blast near my face. And at that point it struck the teacup. We left the shards and the burning wreckage and retired. Well, he retired. I, I went out and got drunk and hit on a large number of male half-orcs. I choose not to remember the rest. Anyway, long story short, later that morning, a large animate mass of teak, that's a porcelain, was roaming around my lab, breaking things. And the entire town. And the entire town. 
<laughs> it had slain a great many townsfolk and had begun to consume their blood. I never tried necromancy again after that. Good question. When you bite off a dick now, can you taste oh. it still? Or is it just kind of an empty experience for you? <laughs> Sparkling personality, charm, and strange smell that resembles camel. I think the dwarven death knights believe they're too good for us now that they're immortal and smelly. I'm just happy to have my friends back on this plate. Yeah. Who's smelly? Yarkhead is happy to have his back, Rogi. We of course did not mean you, Lord Drogon. We meant nothing about you at all. You smell wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Like burning steel and, and blood and stuff. I like you. <laughs> you want to be in the Death Knight Corps, you got to step up! <laughs> Matthew's going to crap himself when he sees that. I know. Or puke all over himself. <laughs> or rape Sam. <laughs> Probably all three. We need to have talk. I meant you absolutely know. no well, offense. We need to have a talk. We need to have a talk. Last time I Let got too close. Let me see your penis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Drogon. No. Drogon. No. Unnecessary. You tried to bite it off when I was when I was a giant undead bug monster. Leave him alone. He doesn't have one anymore. My entire existence is unnecessary. It is. Which made me have the uh, life statement to make everyone else deal with me too. Unnecessarily. Of course we like each other. For instance, we have wonderful stories about each other. Remember that time? with the river and the favorite soul and how you decided that it would be such a good idea to go swimming. <laughs> I wasn't there, but I'm assuming I was watching in spirit somewhere. Remember that time you just got a body back that wasn't a gnome and I ripped your fucking head off? Lars, he's weird. Lars is weird. <laughs> I think that you just couldn't get with Eric and so that was your second best At this option. Time, I'm pretty sure Roshi and Yorikaz are taking bets on how long Drogon keeps this up before he just starts throwing shit at him. <laughs> well, I did consider mating with Eric, but then I realized <laughs> that I did not want my penis to shrivel up, fall off, and start trying to take over the world. So, I didn't. Okay. So, Corvusbergian, Corkian, and what's the British place for, uh, Sestona? And it's Estonian all walk into a bar. They all order a uh, pint of beer. And three flies come down, land in their beer. It's Estonian looks at it, shakes his head, pushes it away. Corpus Bergen picks the fly up out of the drink, throws it off, keeps drinking. The Corkian takes the fly by the wings and starts shaking it into his beer, going, Spit it out, damn you! I didn't used to have one barrel, I used to have twenty. It took a while to build them up. Then he visits the bar one day to reminisce over old times, and when I and when I regain consciousness, most of my alcohol <laughs> is gone. <laughs> you are an asshole. <laughs> a walking, talking, undead asshole. And I salute you for it, because at least your character hasn't changed from when you were alive. It all started with a guy named Kratos. And then there was a demon baby. And after that, you might want to pick it up. Now this is why I always liked you, because I fucking hate elves today. Right. Touching. Inappropriate touching. Wonderful. Now we go back a long way, me and you. I just got her. I just got these ribs. I just got his limb. My face covered in ale. Yeah! Alex, no matter how overpowered my characters are, at least they're not a Valen. That is also true. A Valen half werewolf, half Bigfoot. Look at Matthew talking. Who has 30 cocks coming out of his cock. Because he rapes so much ass. And he casts lightning out of his cocks. He jizzes lightning fire. It's like lightning, but with fire. Super Jesus. And he no. heals himself by sucking dick, but not in a gay way. <laughs> <laughs>
See, but we do have, my family has a long and proud history of being slaughtered by warrior macho types like you. You know, whenever I'm gonna die is when I'm gonna die. This That's is why every single day I make sure that mm -hmm. I kick a puppy off that I kick a puppy off a cliff. <laughs> There's three death knights, two warlocks, a little halfling dude with goggles, and I think that might have been all. Was it? Yeah. That was all. <laughs> okay. Arcalor, Arcalor, oh, yeah. between seven Arcalor. You see a very nondescript, but with very impressive stature, or posture, rather, not even stature. A very plain looking elf, with long brown hair, and tattered brown robes, with silver boots. Oh, shit. You wanna hide behind some trees? I'm just going to get out of the way because I'm recognizing the you motherfucker stare. Drogan, I know I said all hell the mighty Drogan, but uh... I'll still kill you. Okay, so we sleep in the day. Once upon a time, there was a dwarf king named Dunfaggy Frost Chisel. It was too much of a pussy to go look for his uh, Olgeron seal himself. Because he thought it was probably fake, which it was. So he sent this bitch elf named Adamus. And another bitch half elf named Elendor who is now a demigod, to go to Glacia and uh, search for it. Find the river? Well, that's a great way to mess up the surprise attack, dude. D don't you get the code now? The code when we can't win at all and we don't have to be there is run away if we go find the river. Because we're not stupid. <laughs> we may be dead and I may be illiterate, but we're not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yarkas, the next time your god tries to send us on, an, on a mission, Let's, let's not do that. Just, yeah, tell him no. Just, just say no. Just say no to gods. Just say no. After we killed the Death Knight with the um, chain, he was talking shit to Adamus. Like, my soul will wreak havoc on blah blah blah. I am the Death Knight Lord of um, the whatever, Moon Sword family, Moon Sword clan. And Adamus goes, yeah, well, right now, you're the third link from the left, so shut up. <laughs> Camera, Valarnus and Aragon have stopped feuding forever. Valarnus is now true neutral. No! Well, that's lovely. Where's my tuck bucket? Seriously. <laughs>